What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we're continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the different footsteps for different surfaces. So if we are walking on a concrete surface, we will play the concrete footsteps as we have them right now, but if we walk on a grass surface, we will play the grass footsteps and the same for a sand. It's going to be a very easy view to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is, of course, import the other footsteps that we need. In this case, if we open up the audio folder, you can see that we already have an existing concrete footstep sound, which is the one that we're using right now as default. So let's just, you know, create a new folder, call this something as footsteps, as we're gonna have a few more, and just move the concrete footstep and the MS footstep into this folder. And now the first thing that to do is rename the meta sound to be con concrete underscore uh, first step okay because that's the one for our concrete but now you're gonna go ahead and download the sound that i will be linking in the description which is just a simple grass first step and let's just drag it and import it into Unreal engine okay it's not very noticeable but uh, in the recording i have my mic a bit higher than the you know system volume so you will probably hear a bit better on your pc but basically we just need to duplicate this meta sound right and just create one for the grass first step so this will be something as just you know uh grass first step let's open this up and the only thing that we need to do is change here the wave asset and boom we have it perfectly fine and now another thing i want to do is just duplicate the grass first step okay and go and change this to be the sand and say well we didn't import a sand first step but the thing is that we can change a bit the pitch like from you know uh wait what did i put um what values would you know work uh yeah so for you know minus five to five right it cannot changes from the normal grass right and that's really the trick that we're trying to kind of play around we could even put this like even like, like this or go the other route and go more like you know three and five as you can see so i think that for three and five will work great for sand and we now just have three different meta sounds for each sound with each footstep on the surface so now what we need to do is create the different types of surfaces. We can do this in the edit project settings panel and then you search on here surface. And you will see that we have this physical surface list of surfaces that we can add. In this case, the first one is just default. For the second one, what we are gonna do is use uh, place our grass, okay? And then for the third one, which is really the second one, it's going to be basically a uh, sand. And we are going to leave our default to be at concrete, okay? So our default, um, you know, first step for the whole game will really be concrete. And if it's just left on default, it will mean that it's concrete. But if we, you know, choose another one, it is another surface. As simple as that. All right, so now we have those new surfaces being created in the project overall but we need some other things which is a physical material so we can add that physical material into what we want to have that surface so in this case what i am going to do is just go and create a new folder call this something as uh physical surfaces and then here let's just go ahead and create a surface material so where do we uh, access this well, in this case, we're going to just search for uh, physical material, okay, which is here. And now let's just select this parent and then, you know, name this something as PM, standing for uh, physical material. And then we just need to put an underscore and the name of the surface. We will begin by just writing grass and then duplicate this and write sand. And as you may remember, we are not going ahead and creating another um, physical material because the default will be uh, concrete all right so now let's open this first one which is grass and we have all of these parameters well we don't need to really touch anything of you know uh, the friction and all that stuff the only thing that we need to change is the surface type and now 
the ones that we added in the price settings are available here. So this will be grass, close, and let's open sand. And let's do exactly the same with sand. Great, so now the only thing that I would need to do is just, for example, go and add just a simple cube to the level, kind of, you know, expand it. And we can just add a green material, right? I don't know if we have like grass. I don't think we have grass, right? No, because we did not import uh, the uh, starting content. But imagine that this is our grass material for now. It's <laughs> extremely ugly, but you get the idea. Well, now the only thing I want to do is go down to this uh, kind of surface and just add it here. So this will be grass, PM grass on physical material override. So now this actor, which is this cube, will have that. Of course, right now, you know, if I walk over, still nothing will change. And that's just simply because, well, we have not determined, you know, and checked on what surface we are walking on. And then, depending on that, played another meta sound or not. Uh, let me also just go ahead and hold Alt, move this cube around, and let's change this to be the sand, okay? And also a material of sand. I guess we don't have sand, no, so we need to go with something yellow, which I don't have, so I will need to quickly just create the material. Let's call this sand and just hold the three on our keyboard and press left mouse button. This will create a new kind of color. And then we can just put this kind of, you know, like that. There we go. Simple as that. Uh, you know, just yellow and boom. There we go. So we have our grass and our sand. Make sure in sand you have overrided this with the PM sand. And now we're good to go. So what we need to do is an animation notify. So at each, you know, first step on the animation, we will launch a line trace, which is basically an invisible ray cast, which we already used for our firing and so on. And just check on what surface we're working on. If we are walking on a, you know, surface that is grass, we'll play that sound and not uh, vice versa. So let's go ahead and begin by creating that you know, uh, notify. So let's go to the blueprints uh, folder, right click, go into new blueprint class and let's search for notify. And it will be this parent and name notify. Let's name this something as BP underscore and then use footstep notify, okay? And this will be a generic one. We'll open this up and now on the functions, we can override the received notify. So as soon as it is, you know, launched, we will do what we need to do. Right now, what we can do is just simply just do a play sound at location. And we could just go and pick the uh, default, right? Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, the, oh, the concrete, right? Sound. And then the location will just be the mesh component. Get. Uh, owner, so we're accessing. Sorry, this is not the node. Get owner. This one it is. So we're accessing the owner of this mesh component, and then getting the actor location. And that way we can plug in the location to here. Okay, as simple as that. Now, of course, we are still not doing the line trace and detecting, but I just wanted to make this uh, so you understand what is really going to be the function of the and then notify in this uh, scenario. So if now we just go to the character folder, go to animations, go to locomotion and go into the jogging um, animation, you can see that we have here two and then notifies. Well, here, let's go ahead and just create a new track. Let's call this something as footsteps and right at the same point gonna right click at notify and what will this be well our bp first the notify that we just created copy go to the next one click paste and then just delete the other two notifies and there we go now it will simply play that animation you can see nothing has changed right now the only difference is now we are using our notify to play all of the sounds and we will do a lot of logic in a second but let's also add this on the uh, where it should be mm, on the sprint. OK, so again, add new notify track. This will be footsteps. And let's just put the thing on here. Click on the timeline, paste. Click on the timeline, paste. There we go. It can be hard to play around with this notifies. You're going to see this is how they work. But there we go. OK, so you kind of have to click and then click again and then paste. And there we go. And now we can just delete all the other notifies. 
Oh, there's one more. Nearly missed it. There we go. Uh, that should be good. Let me just check. Yes, okay. And we only have one more left, which is on the rifle locomotion. We, of course, have the jog and also sprint. So there's actually two, sorry. Oh, we have a lot of animations already. Let's add a new track, footsteps. Go to here, click, paste. Go to here, click, paste. Go to here, click, paste. It doesn't have to be exact, you know, just a quick transformation, but if you want to put a bit more detail, you can make sure that you paste it in the correct um, you know, position on the timeline. And let's do the same with the sprint, okay? So again, another track, foot, steps, and we just create another track so it's easier for us to paste and also have the, you know, it a bit more organized, right? Because, hey, we are, you know, using a track called footsteps for footsteps, so it makes sense, right? All right, so let's paste this over here. There we go. Remember to always delete the previews um, notifies that you just play the sound. And I think that we're good to go, yes. So now in, you know, play mode, everything will be as normal. You can see. And now we just need to do that calculation with the line trace to detect the surface. So going back to our anim notify, before doing all of this, what we're going to do is just get the actor location, that's what we want, and just do a line trace by channel. So what will be the starting point? Well, the actor location, the player's location, okay? Uh, let me just unplug this for now. And then what do we want from, you know, to be our end point? Well, what we want to do is get the um, up vector of our actor and just multiply this value by right clicking, going to float a negative 200. So it will go downwards. There's no get actor down vector. So we just need to get the up and invert it by just times him by a negative number. In this case, 200 will work. It's kind of, you know, giving space to reach the ground. And then let's go ahead and just do a um, plus over here. So we'll add the location start and the end. This will give it our end point. And then we can just put this for duration so we can kind of uh, preview it. And then we can also just go and plug the location into here. Um, but what I would do, I think instead, uh, yeah, let's just plug it here. Okay, and just double click, put it like this. And there we go, make sure to have it organized, good. So now with that, we're good, we're doing the line trees. If I press play, we should see that line trees. There we go. As you can see in every first step, we are launching this line trees and it will detect what surface we are on. So now what we want to do is get the results from our line trace channel. So first of all, let's make sure that we are, you know, going ahead and uh, detecting something, a surface. If we are detecting, we'll play a first step. If not, we will not. That's also a really good check. If we are also not on the ground. Then let's get the, you know, um, well, we don't actually don't need to break it because we will not access the surface stripe like we normally do, right? Getting the actor, the location, whatever. There's actually another which is the get surface type. And this is exactly what we need. And this will just return us an enum. So we can just do a switch on E physical surface. And now you can see that we have the ones that we have created on the, you know, uh, private settings over here. And we create the physical materials. So let's plug this over here. And now this default will go to concrete. Then I'm gonna copy and paste this. This will be to grass. So we're gonna search our grass. First step, make sure to select the MS, the meta sound that we created. Plug that way there and then copy and paste one more time to connect this to the sand and, you know, plug that to the MS sand and this to the location, very important. And now make also sure to, you know, connect this to the return node over here. And with that said, we are good to go. Now, by default, it will be on the concrete, you will see. It's lagging so much, just wait two seconds until real kind of recovers. But if I walk on the uh, grass, I'm playing the grass footsteps. And then on sand, 
the sound. They're very similar because we use the same um, audio file, but if you want to change that, go ahead. I couldn't really find a sound for this that was good, so I just changed the pitch of the grass, which are similar, but if you want to change it, you know how, you know, by using the meta sounds. Um, but yeah, I like this. You can see if we walk in different surfaces, we will play different sounds. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember, they have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members. Join my Discord server to talk with me and to other devs. Check out my new course with game dev to win how to make a stealth game in Unreal. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.